All right, this looks like a complete mess here, but um, I just want to show you guys a couple of the different vest systems that I've been trying. Uh, this is the Steadicam Merlin arm. The reason I say that is because I had to modify the vest after uh, my vest broke. Um, but this is a Steadicam Merlin arm, which I've been using for years. Love this arm. Works really great. Vest is, you know, not that great. Uh, but the arm itself has worked wonders. Uh, but this vest right here, you're going to find it for about $1,500. Uh, for reference, this is the vest here. I hope you guys can see uh, where it broke. This chest plate here is just plastic. The vest, um, the reason why I say the vest is not that great is it uses a lot of Velcro. It's all Velcro. Uh, besides getting a ton of hangnails on your fingers, um, you know, the Velcro gets kind of uh, dirty, you know, it picks up everything. It loses its uh, grip. I actually had to redo the velcro on this at one point um, Using industrial velcro, you know from uh, uh, Home Depot <clears throat> But um, they do sell an upgrade kit where you can swap it into buckles uh, So that probably would work out a little bit better, but still the vest is not you know the greatest vest uh, so this top portion broke on me and I modified my vest uh, here, this is the bottom part is the Steadicam Merlin vest, so it allows you to adjust the uh, the arm height up and down. Um, and if you want to take the arm off of the vest, you have to uh, pull a quick release pin over here. Um, it's not really super fast, uh, but you know uh, that's how you would disconnect it. And and I kind of stress that because. When you're unloading, um, you don't want this arm to accidentally swing out of the way and hit someone. You want to kind of get out of this vest or disconnect the arm some way. Uh, and this arm is fairly heavy. Uh, but you can see here I use the top portion of a Canova vest. I had to drill things out um, and just kind of make it work. Uh, the arm again is, is great. And um, you know I've been able to get by with, with just this. Um, so the other day, I also tried the uh, single arm, um, it's kind of a budget vest. This one runs uh, for about $400. And I actually like this vest um, a lot more than I did the Merlin vest. Uh, just the vest part of it. It's actually really comfortable, easy to adjust, uses a lot of buckles instead of Velcro straps. Um, you can adjust the, the height of the arm here and the arm just kind of sits in this spot over here. This is the uh, this is a single arm that comes with uh, this vest here. So the arm is actually really good quality. It's really well made. The problem is the the spring is just huge, um, and that doesn't work very well with lightweight camera setups. It's probably going to work better if you have a very heavy load um, because the spring is just you know it's 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 too big for lightweight cameras. You're not going to get the the flexibility. Um, as you would from say the Steadicam which allows you to fly very lightweight cameras. So let's just get rid of this guy really quickly. Now just for reference this is the uh, Canova arm, dual arm, another great arm uh, but again the, the spring tension I couldn't dial it down enough to uh, work with smaller lightweight cameras. Works really well if you're doing kind of a big heavy Steadicam type setup. Uh, that's the look at the uh, Canova dual arm here. Now finally, after several years, um, I come across this vest. It's a, kind of a new vest that's been online. It's a dual arm vest. This is the arm right over here. And this is actually the first time I can recommend that this vest can function similarly to the Steadicam arm. Um, I was able to fly a very lightweight setup here. Uh, I was using the uh, the wieldy carbon fiber setup with just the 5D Mark II and a Sigma 20 millimeter lens, and it worked great. Um, the the springs aren't you know as powerful as the other ones, so you can dial it down to support lightweight cameras. You can dial it back up to support a little bit more weight. Um, and the vest the vest is great, real comfortable. Actually, it's a it's the the vest is lighter than the other vest that I've shown you. The uh, it's lighter than the Canova, the Steadicam and the, other, the budget vest as well. So the vest is actually really nice. 
Um, I'm not too happy with the branding here. Uh, this is a plate that's riveted on. I can get rid of that. There's a stitch pattern on the back here. A uh, little patchwork, I'll hide that up. But uh, outside of that, uh, vest works great. Lots of buckles, uses Velcro to adjust. So what you do is you pull the Velcro out and you just kind of pull it tight and then slap it back in. So I can get in and out of this um, actually really quickly and easily. The arm, I'm sorry, this arm can be used in either direction uh, very quickly. Uh, so you can put the arm on the left side if that's the way you want to fly or on the right side. To, to do that on the Steadicam vest, you have to uh, disconnect four bolts here and then uh, swap that over and then also flip your arm around. So it's not something you can do very quickly. Not that you're going to need to, but it takes a little bit more work to swap that out over there. Um, again, the buckles, once you're adjusted into this vest, it's just a matter of snapping the buckles. The uh, Steadicam type vest, you know, you'll get fitted in here. But once you start pulling out that Velcro, you got to get back in, you got to get fitted again. So, um, you know, again, I'm not real happy with the vest part of it. Uh, another thing is, you know, it, it you can adjust the uh, height of the arm here at the torso uh, very quickly. There's a pin that you pull here and then this slides up and down. On the Steadicam vest, if you wanted to adjust something like that, you have to uh, remove all the bolts. Um, so it's a little bit more work. You can't do it uh, with the vest on. Um, another thing is that this arm uses a uh, two pins at the bottom here and these two pins slide perfectly into the, the pin connectors here uh, there's a locking knob not real happy with blue but you know I can always paint this um, slides right in here so again it's, it's easy to get the arm in and out so when you're breaking down you've got your stabilizer off you can actually pull the arm off and then you're just left with the vest which you can climb out of um, with the Steadicam vest I would always have to make sure that my arm was tied down to the vest and then I'd have to climb out of the whole thing all at one time. Um, and if you didn't tie down this arm again, it could go swinging. You guys, if you guys use this stuff, you guys know what I'm talking about. So a lot of good features in this, in this vest here, uh, quick release arm. Uh, you can adjust the, the height very quickly. If you're moving from one operator to the next, uh, the buckles on the vest work really well. Not real happy about the branding, but, um, it's really lightweight, comfortable, um, pretty happy with this vest. Uh, it's the first time I've tried a vest and I've seen quite a bit of vest. The first time I could safely say you'll get some performance that are similar to Steadicam Merlin vest. Steadicam Merlin vest will run you about $1,500. This one right now you could probably find online for about $600, $700 ship. So it's half the price of this. Um, if you're starting out, you don't have a lot of money this is the vest over the other vest. You might find some cheaper, but they're not gonna perform as well if you're flying kind of a lightweight setup like I do. Uh, another thing to note is this arm. This arm has a post here. Um, there's a lot of bearings through the build of this arm, so it's pretty smooth, but this post is actually on a bearing too, so um, I know you guys can't see that, but it actually spins. First time I've seen a post that uh, spins, the other, vest just kind of have like a solid post there um, i don't think it really helps very much maybe it does but um, that was kind of a neat feature the diameter of this post though is smaller um, this fits the wieldy which has a smaller slightly smaller diameter the glide cam can go over this post but you'll have a little space there a little gap i'm sure you guys who are real crafty can kind of just modify this a little bit to to uh, make it a little bit larger and fit that glide cam handle really well but this one um, has a smaller diameter post. You could remove it, there's a bolt under here, so you could kind of swap it out. I don't know if you guys are that crafty, um, but that's something to note. If you're trying to use this with a glide cam or even a fly cam, those diameters are gonna be a little bit larger than the wieldy. Um, just something to note, but it will work. Anyways, that's just a quick overview. Um, I'll have to get into these vests and show you guys some samples, but. Uh, I took it around the other day and very, very surprised. I didn't get any bounce in my footage. The spring worked really well to kind of absorb uh, all of the, the shock from uh, stepping or running. Um, you know, again, this is the first time I'm seeing something that can give you similar quality to what the Steadicam arm can do uh, for half the price. Check it out, it's at cheesycam.com. Um, this right now is under wieldy, but these names have changed. 
Uh, they have a different name now. They're constantly rebranding this stuff. Uh, so follow my blog for that correct link.